Aloha, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you all for your patience. Um, we're just getting started now. Um, so on behalf of UCSC uh, Mauna Kea Protectors, I want to thank everybody for coming out um, to the opening event for Protecting Mauna Kea for uh, our month-long Kukulu exhibit that with a theme, Santa Cruz Standing in Solidarity with Mauna Kea. Um, we are honored to begin by welcoming Nathan Vas Vasquez, a member of um, Amat Mutsun Tribal Band, and an artist who contributed several paintings to the exhibit. Um, he's going to offer some opening words. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Switch mics. <laughs> um, I want to start off saying a prayer to Creator um, and share with you guys. Um, I want to thank you, Creator, for bringing us all here together from different walks of life, different cultures, different ethnicities, gender, and bringing us all together here for a common goal, and that's to uh, save these uh, sacred mountains. Um, I wanna ask that you uh, give us a strong voice, a, a strong enough voice not to move mountains, but to keep them in their rightful place. Um, Thank you, Creator, for life itself, and uh, help our voice be strong, uh, stronger than science. Help our voice even be stronger than the power of money, um, and uh, save these mountains because we we lost enough. We lost enough mountains, and uh, not only the mountains there, the the animals that are there right now uh, want us to have a bigger voice for the animals because they can't speak for themselves. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Nathan. Um, and we also want to welcome you into this space by, uh, with a land acknowledgement. Um, the land on which we gather is the unceded territory of Awaswa speaking UP tribe. The Amat Musan tribal band comprised of the descendants of indigenous people taken to Mission Santa Cruz and San Juan Bautista during Spanish colonization of the Central Coast is today working hard to restore traditional stewardship practices on these lands and heal from historical trauma. And we're very grateful to be here today. Um, and a little introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Rachel and I'm um, I'm a staff member at UCSC. I work at the biology teaching labs, and I've been uh, organizing with Mauna Kea Protectors since 2019 at, when I was at UC Santa Barbara, uh, where I had a lot of um, opportunities to meet amazing organizers from ASA and EJA. Um, so as a scientist in physical sciences, um, I recognize that this movement is not against science. Um, rather, the movement is trying to find harmony with ever-changing science, and destruction is not harmony. Uh, we, I stand with indigenous groups, and I invite you to think about ways we can envision science that's in harmony with our home. Thank you so much, Rachel, and thank you all of you for being here today and for joining us for our special celebration. Uh, I'm Stefania. I'm Stefania Cote. I'm a first year PhD student here in the History of Consciousness Department. And I just joined uh, the Mauna Kea Protectors this fall. So for over a decade, Kanaka Maoli land protectors have been locked in a heated political and legal battle to prevent the construction of the University of California driven 30 meter telescope project. The UC, and in particular UC Santa Cruz, has provided key funding and leadership to this effort to desecrate Hawaii's most sacred mountain. We are here to stand up and call for you to stand up with us against the domination and exploitation of indigenous people and their land. Before we continue, we want to extend our gratitude to all of the following groups and individuals who have offered their support and helped make this exhibition and event possible. So please save your applause till the end and then make it like really powerful because it's a long <laughs> list. <laughs> so first we have Mauna Kea Education and Awareness, the Louise Long and the Mary Porter Cessna Gallery, 
the Porter College and Provost of Porter College, Sean Keelan, Uprooted and Rising, Center for Political Ecology, Capitalism, Nature, and Socialism Journal, the Cantu <laughs> Queer Center, <laughs> American Indian Research Center, Center for Racial Justice, the Jack and Peggy Baskin Endowed Chair in Feminist Studies, History of Consciousness Department, woo! Uh, <laughs> History of Art and Visual Culture, Community Studies, Sociology, Oaks College Student Senate, Stevenson College Student Council, the Merrill Student Government, Kresge Parliament, Students for Justice in <laughs> Palestine, yes. Gabriela Santa Cruz, Eothan Circle, the Pono Hawaiian Bar and Grill, and our videographer, Vidu Love from Nika 131 Productions. Please give all of our supporters a warm round of applause. Tonight, we celebrate the Mauna and all sacred land protectors through the opening of our Kukulu exhibit, Santa Cruz, in solidarity with Mauna Kea. This exhibit is a product of the amazing work of Auntie Pua Case, a well-known Hawaiian cultural practitioner from my area of Big Island, Hawaii. Auntie Pua has played an instrumental role in the in the sand to protect Mauna Kea. She founded Mauna Kea Education and Awareness in April 2015 with women protectors, mainly Native Hawaiians, to promote a deeper understanding, recognition, appreciation for sacred Mauna Kea. Since 2018, Mauna Kea Education and Awareness has organized eight Kukulu exhibitions. Each, ku each Kukulu exhibition serves as Pu Honua as a sanctuary, a halau training center, a Kauhale gathering place and Pico or foundational center. Through the steady guidance of Antipua and MKEA, we here in Santa Cruz are proud to be opening the first ever Kukulu on this side of the Pacific. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel, for the introduction. So we will begin uh, this evening with an introduction to the UC's role into the 30 meter telescope project and then receive an overview of the campaign for UC divestment from the TMT. Then we will invite our featured performers, hula performers by, by the Kuhai Omehana Poalapa Kahiko Hula School, and then our featured performers, Lalani Teal and Liko Martin to the stage. So after closing the program, uh, we also invite you to visit the exhibit, which we just opened today, and join us for a nice warm meal catered by uh, the Pono Hawaiian Grill from, from downtown. Uh, yeah, so everyone's excited for the food. We are too. <laughs> <laughs> next, yes. next, we would like to invite Will Parrish to the stage. Will is one of our group's founding members and a PhD student in the History of Consciousness Department here at UC Santa Cruz. In addition, Will is also an investigative journalist who has written extensively about indigenous political movements. So please welcome Will to the stage. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, wait. I'll just, yeah, I'll, sure, I'll use the actual stage. Um, thank you so much, Rachel and Stefania. Um, it's really such an honor to speak to you all on behalf of our group, UCSC Mauna Kea Protectors. There's at least I think 10 or 12 people I can think of who you won't see up here who were totally instrumental to everything that's happening today. So I just, I just want to invite everyone to give a warm round of applause to everyone who did a lot of work uh, to make this event possible, but that you won't necessarily see up here. Um, so to repeat the name of the exhibition that's over here at uh, the Cessna Underground Gallery. It's Kukulu Santa Cruz in Solidarity with Mauna Kea. And that name calls to mind for me how uh, the group Mauna Kea Protectors at UCSC uh, came into being uh, back in 2019. Um, the, the group Mauna Kea Protectors at UCSC stands on the shoulders of a lot of organizers, a lot of activists in the Santa Cruz area. Um, but in particular, there was a moment in 2019 that I want to tell a quick story about um, that sparked our, our group's existence, which is that as uh, the University of California uh, and its corporate partners in 
in the corporation TMT Observatories LLC uh, was moving to initiate construction of the 30 meter telescope in, in July 2019. Uh, hundreds of Mauna Kea Kia'i or protectors like took to the mountain with their bodies and they uh, did whatever they could to block construction equipment from moving up to the top of Mauna Kea. Uh, and as they did that, about uh, a, a large group of elders moved to the front of the line uh, to deal directly head on with the police uh, as they were moving in. Uh, to try to clear this blockade that was threatening the advancement of this project, the 30 meter telescope. And uh, the police arrested 33 Kapuna, or elders. Uh, they carried some of them out in wheelchairs. Uh, those who were too feeble to stand up, they carried, you know, four or five cops just carrying one of these elders into the, into the paddy wagon. And, you know, this. This, this uh, imagery and this stand by the Kapuna putting their bodies on the line to protect Mauna Kea so deeply moved people really all over the world, but especially in Hawaii, that it, it helped to spark this mass, mass movement in Mauna Kea. And it also went out to people uh, around the world, including here in Santa Cruz. And as, as this effort to protect Mauna Kea through this action of blockading the road, was taking place, that's when we formed our group, Mauna Kea Protectors at UCSC. And to this date, no construction, no major construction of this telescope has happened because of these efforts on the front line of this, this effort at Mauna Kea. And so um, I remember, and I think some other people might remember, looking at what was going on there and you know, having followed this this struggle, this stand that people were making and thinking, uh, those cops who are dragging away these elders are doing that on behalf, uh, in large part, of the University of California. Uh, and this $1.4 billion investment that the University of California has helped to recruit. The cops were acting to protect the property of this corporation that the University of California is a driving force of. And so I think that looking at that, that op you know, and thinking about it in that way opens up lines of solidarity, right, between people here at UC campuses and people there because uh, we oppose the exploitation and the efforts to like dominate other people in other parts of the world. And we especially do that when uh, it's being done in the name of our university and it's being done by our university. So um, just briefly, I want to explain a little bit about the UC's role, then I'm going to turn it back over. But uh, the University of California is a partner, like I said, in the TIO, in the TMT Observatories Corporation with five other entities. Uh, and the University of California uh, provides really important political leadership. Um, they work directly, for example, with people like the governor of Hawaii. Um, they work directly with um, other major administrators uh, of this complex of telescopes that already exists on Mauna Kea. Uh, the University of California, through its funding networks, goes out and recruits major funders like the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation in Palo Alto to support this project, the 30 meter telescope. So from the beginning, the UC has been a driving force. It is a part owner of this project. It provides key leadership to the project through people like Chancellor Henry Yang at UC Santa Barbara, Michael Bolte in the astronomy department here at UC Santa Cruz. And so, and so, that's exactly the reaction that I would like to hear. Um, and so, thank you. That felt, that felt surprisingly good. But, um, and so, I wanna say that um, in the years since, that blockade happened, people have continued uh, the stand for Mauna Kea. Uh, we have resumed organizing as UC Mauna Kea protectors. Uh, this is our first big event uh, since the quarantine, and uh, it's just so good to see so many people here. Um, and the, the ex exhibition tells the whole story, 
and you can get more of the story of what I'm talking about through our fact sheet at the table that talks about the UC's role specifically and the TMT project. So um, with that, I want to turn it back over, but I just want to say that um, everyone here uh, has an opportunity to be what is called a kiai in, in their own ways, um, a protector of Mauna Kea in their own ways, and we invite you to be involved in whatever capacity that you see fit to be involved with, with the work that we're doing. So thanks so much for your attention. Thank you, Will, for, uh, for starting us off. So now to, to get really warmed up, because it's starting to get chilly, we have our very special guests, the Kuhai Halau Omehana Kealoha Kalawa Ekapoli Paolapa Kahiko Hula School. Uh, I, I hope I said that right. <laughs> um, so Kumu Mehana first founded the group in 1998. Since then, she has been spreading Mauna Mana through ceremony and dance to her students and audience. So be prepared for an unfor unforgettable story told in a traditional way. Please welcome Kumu Mehana Hula School. Thank you for coming. Kanaka e komo ma loko ahanai e vakavaha e yano ka ukula o kaleo aheleo valeno oe. O opuka e kalama ka hikina, me ka hua ka ihele no kumukahi, ha amai na iwa mehi iaka, me ka pola ka ika ulu vehi vehi, ne e mai na iwa maku ualo, me ke alo kapu o ke a iwa iwa, ho ino e ke kapu me na ali. He ola mako a maulo ala e ala e ala e a a i e a i e. Keha a la puna i kamakani, puna dancing in the breeze. When Pele witnessed Hopoe and Haena dancing and having fun by the puna sea, she turned to her sisters and asked them to dance for her. They could not do as the volcano goddess asked of them, for they had no hula to share. However, the youngest sister, Hiyaka Kapolio Pele, said she would. 
So Keha'a Lapuna i Kamakani became the first known hula of Hawaii. Puna dances in the breeze. The hala grows of Keaau shaken. Haena and Hopoi are swaying. The thighs of the dancing nymph quiver and sway down at Nana Kuki, a dance most sightly and pleasing down by the sea of Nana Huki. Keha'a la puna i kamakani, ha'aka ulu hala i keau, ha'a ha'e na me hopoe, ha'aka vahine amikai o nana huki. Keha ala puna i kamakani, haaka ulu hala i kea au, haa hae na me hopoe, haaka vahine amikai o nana huki. O puna kai kua i ka hala, pa e ka lehe o ho o ke kai, ke lula i na pua lehe hua, na na i kai o ho po e, ka vahine a mi i ke kai o na na huki. O puna kai kua i ka hala, pa e ka lehe o ho o ke kai, ke lula i na pua lehe hua, na na i kai o ho po e, ka vahine a mi i ke kai o na na huki. Ai ala ai ala ai 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 Our next hula is He Aloha no Napua, a song composed in honor of King David Laamea Kalakaua, the last reigning king of the Hawaii Kingdom. He was known by many names, for instance, Kani Kali Lua, that is mentioned in this mele. The berries picked by the birds and the red lehua of the upland. What a joy it was to see the heavy rains of Hilo. Kahea. He aloha no napua, napua o helo helo, o helo ai akamanu, kalehua ula i ka ukala. He aloha no napua, napua o helo helo, o helo ai akamanu, 
Kalehua ula ika ukala. Nani vale ho ika ikena. Ika ua nui a ohilo. A nui mai ke aloha. Ua like me ka vai punala. Nani vale ho ika ikena. Ika ua nui a ohilo. Anui mai ke aloha, ua like me ka vai punala. He i honanae a he alu, hakalia i kapiina, kapiina a opolua. He lua o umake makela. He i hona no a he alu, hakalia i kapiina, kapiina a opolua, e lua o umake makela. Kavalia o kohokino, kanahea o koholeo, Haina mai ka inoa, no kalani leuli i luala. Kavalia o kohokino, kanahea o koleo. Haina mai ka inoa, no kalani leuli i luala. Ae ala, ae ala, ae a, a i hi e, a i hi e. Ho o ma kau kau. Kaya. Ho ino e ke kapu me kawahine me hi i akala no ho i kala i la e vale ke kau ini o ke aloha o ke na we akula o kalehua ho i e ho i la ha ho i e. Ho i la ha, ho i e, ho i la ha, ho i e, ho i la ha, a e a la ha, e a la e a, a i hi e, a i hi e. He i noa no, hi i ake ka poli o pele. While the ladies get ready, I will tell you about our next hula, Poliahu. Residing on the top of Mauna Kea, embraced in clouds and mist, wearing a mantle of snow, is the goddess Poliahu, meaning cloaked bosom. She feeds the springs and streams of the fertile landscape below. The eldest daughter of Kane, makes the Hamakua coast on the eastern flank of Mauna Kea her playground. In this melee, she yearns for the return of her lover of Kauai, Ali'i Aivo Hikupua. Tears of the snow goddess and the pains of love, saddened by separation of, I'm sorry, Avohi, the demigod. Come back to me, my sweetheart. Come back to me as we embrace. Come back to me.
on behalf of Kuhai Santa Cruz, mahalo. Thank you so much, Mehana and the amazing dancers. So why, why don't we all stand up and give them a standing ovation and get warm? All right. Thank you. All right, so let's, let's move our bodies a little bit, get that circulation flowing. Um, <laughs> so next up, I want to invite someone who will highlight the work of Mauna Kea protectors in the broader regional context of the University of California. Hanuaina Nichols is a political science major at UC Santa Barbara and focuses on environmental policy. Hanu is a leader for the Mauna Kea protectors movement, a Y or water protector, and a campaign coordinator for the Students Enacting Environmental Defense Group of the UC Student Association. Please welcome Hanu. Woo! Aloha mai kako. Aloha, and we respond. Okay, ohon. We'll try again, try again. Okay, right. aloha mai kako. Aloha. Ohonu aina ko'u inoa. Um, as my beautiful introducer said, I am a UCSB student, so it is a pleasure to be here with you all on your beautiful campus. This is my first time at UCSC. You guys have really done amazing things with the place. Um, I, a little bit about me. I got involved with the Mauna Kea Protectors. I'm a transfer student at UC Santa Barbara. Um, so if you are a transfer student trying to navigate your way through community, um, joining this organizing effort is a fantastic way to find like-minded people who are shakers and movers if you're trying to get into social justice movement work. Um, I am originally from the island of Oahu. Um, I actually was from the Bay originally. I went to Foothill College um, down in Los Altos Hills before I transferred to UCSB. And I got involved with the Mauna Kea Protectors movement actually um, with my ohana. It was not necessarily a choice. Like many other families, um, in 2015 when this project was originally projected and approved, we all hit the streets by the hundreds and the thousands on multiple islands, and my ohana was there with hundreds and thousands of other ohana as well. Um, in 2019, on the groundbreaking um, blockade, I was also there with my ohana and um, an organization that I work with. It's a nonprofit of a 400 year old traditional Hawaiian fish pond called Local Air. Air means to rise, to breathe, it is life, it is sovereignty. And when you are on Mauna Kea um, at the blockade, that is Ea existing. There, were, there was education with Pu'uhuluhulu University, there were medics, there was food, there was donations. It was opened by protocol every single day um, that they were on that mountain. And it was at Pu'uhuluhulu University that I was a transfer student and I didn't really know what I was doing that Dr. Keonusai, who has his PhD in political science, very eloquently um, broke down the illegal occupation of the native Hawaiian islands and the kingdom of Hawaii. And it was at that moment that I realized that my power was through political science and that's how I became a political science major. I needed to understand the language of the dominant um, oppressor at the, at the moment so that we could actually work with the system from the inside out. And so uh, after transferring at UCSB, UC Divest TMT actually found me um, through a feminism, a global feminism course with Grace Chang, fantastic UCSB professor, and Lehuanani DeFranco came and spoke from the UC Divest TMT. My UC Divest TMT crew is over there. That's my ohana over there. If I like, I cannot stress enough. If you guys need community, come join UC Divest TMT. And it has not only, it has grown so much. I gr joined in the spring of 2020, in the middle of the pandemic, knowing only two people on my campus because it was basically a ghost town and had the pleasure of joining the comms team, the strategy team, and building community of Kanaka who are shakers and mover movers from New York to California to Hawaii and grounded in Kapu Aloha and Kupuna Ike, or Ike Kupuna. Um, and when and our actions really started to take forth in the spring, when we mobilized, um, we mobilized about 15 students to the Board of Regents. 
um, to give testimony. I had the pleasure of being a star advocate to the regents and had one-on-one -on -one conversations um, advocating for indigenous peoples for our sacred lands, um, which is also something that you can get involved in too. Uh, with the Mauna Kea Protectors, we also held an event opened in protocol welcomed by the Chumash people, which are the native indigenous people of the land which my campus currently resides and settles on, um, to show how important consent is when operating in a project um, such as this unethical one, um, where consent is not acknowledged. So we opened it up in protocol. We had a panel about settler colonialism with powerful Manoahine, as such as this fantastic movement constantly brings people into the circles. We had Hakumele Uncle Liko, who you will hear from, um, who is an absolute genius um, in terms of organizing. And so with the Mauna Kea Protectors now, it has grown even more from that point. So the UC Student Association of the entire California um, system has voted UC Divest Team T and Mauna Kea Protectors as their seed priority campaign, which is what I act as right now. There's a seed campaign coordinator at every single UC campus organizing Mauna Kea Protectors and Kia'i, such as yourselves, to get mobilized. Um, Will had mentioned earlier that when you guys join into this space, you can become a Kia'i and show up at a, as a Kia'i in whatever capacity that you can. You have skill sets, if it's whether it's in research, whether it's in art, whether it's in direct action, whether you want to testify and touch people's hearts, there is a place for you in the Mauna Kea Protectors because we welcome all. Because social justice is environmental justice and the two cannot be done without the other. And I think that that's something that I have learned from this movement. Um, the Mauna Kea Protectors is a completely UC-wide um, org other than UC Divest TMT, which also operates under Uprooted and Rising um, and UCSA. So if you wanna get mobilized to give testimony, if you want to help in organizing these events, if you wanna give class announcements and just advocate for indigenous peoples, for marginalized peoples, if you wanna advocate for water, not just sacred land, but the protection for our right to have clean natural resources, please join the Mauna Kea Protectors. Um, Mahalo, mahalo. I have actually, now that my brain just turned on again, our seed campaign, uh, our language now, because we've had time, this is not a new feat. They were not new to this. We've been at this since 2015. We've been at this on this campus since 2019. So we've had multiple Kia'i and students like yourselves talk to UC regions, talk to your professors. And so now we've understand that the UC doesn't really care um, what what is happening with indigenous peoples in terms of consent and the fact that there is widespread opposition. Um, it's the fact that it's our UC technology and we just want the project to exist because it's putting profit over people, right? Boom, yeah, lame, lame. And so what we are going to do as students, because we have power in our own realm, it's important to remember that when you join the Mauna Kea Protectors, you are a complement to the Protect Mauna Kea movement because we have our own problems on our UC campuses, which I'm sure we all are very aware of. Um, so it's important with Mauna Kea Protectors to stand in solidarity with other movements. Back, we, have, we stand in solidarity with the Students for Justice in Palestine, with Mecca, with El Congreso, um, with JVP, with An Anak Bayan. It's important to stand in solidarity with all of your special interest orgs and build community in that way and figure out what their demands are. Right now, with the seed campaign in the fall quarter, we're doing outreach. So if you are in a special interest org and you see that there are parallels in our movements, our language now is not to tackle or to target lobby, whatever word you wanna have for it, um, the regents and Chancellor Yang because their hearts do not want to open. They are not ready for that healing. And so what we are going to do is our language is to divest from TMT and reinvest into indigenous communities. And since, yo, yo. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the liberty and the lead in actually doing said community outreach because the UC does not know how to do that properly for one, if at all. And so what we're going to do and what you need to help us with is to find your professors, talk to your, um, talk to your peers, and which professors might actually have a clue in, a shoe in in this. Um, if there's restoration projects happening on your campus, bring them in. 
figure out what they are already doing in terms of listening to indigenous peoples and figuring out best practices and find ways to bring the indigenous community into these conversations. We want to figure out and build a set of demands UC wide. So we're hoping to have a town hall by January or February, at least on the UCSB front, um, and setting up these demands. So if you know any professors who want to stand with indigenous peoples, who are environmental studies majors, who are astronomers, UCSC, please help us find astronomers who can stand with the Mauna Kea movement. That would provide so much power for us. So we need your help in divesting from TMT and reinvesting in communities and helping us build that language because you all have power. Whatever your skill set is, there is power with where you're at. We need to divest from TMT. We need to divest. We need to actually give basic needs and housing to our students rather than investing in war manufacturing. <laughs> Right, and, and desecration of sacred land. We actually want to, as, especially as DEI institutions and land grant institutions, we have a responsibility to our indigenous peoples that we actually reside on, their land that we reside on, rather than going out with an extractive project and further desecrating more land. Um, and do not be afraid to use the settler colonialism, U.S. imperialist or scientific imperialist language. They're afraid, be, they're afraid to hear that because they're afraid that it's true. So say it, just say it. This is an act of settler colonialism. And acknowledge the kingdom of Hawaii as the kingdom of Hawaii. That's step one. That's step one. Because what this project did was it not only what they thought what they were getting was a telescope, what they ended up doing was awaking a nation. So we thank you for joining us in this fight because it's not just about this telescope because this is the 14th and biggest telescope. We've been against this for a long time. So if you want to get involved, my name is Honu. I'm with the Mauna Kea Protectors and also your lovely organizers can get us connected. Um, that's my spiel, mahalo nui. Um, we encourage folks in the audience to connect with Hanu or Dante from Uprooted and Rising. If you have friends and other UCs that may be interested in joining the movement. Actually, I was also, um, I'm also a part of Uprooted and Rising and they've given me a really, they've given me a home <laughs> during the pandemic. Um, and I think they've really grounded me during that time. And I've been ever since really grateful. Um, well. Next, we have our very anticipated speakers. We're absolutely honored to have Uncle Liko Martin and Auntie Lalani Teal here with us today. They flew all the way from Hawaii earlier this week to be here and to meet you and to tell you their stories. Uncle Liko is a respected elder bard of Hawaii that has been part of Hawaiian resistance movement for more than 50 years. He is a musical warrior and a healer. Many of his movement songs and stories are widely known as anthems in Hawaii. Um, Auntie Lalani is a frontline Kanaka Mali activist, musician, traditional herbalist, and peacemaker. She's also part of Hui Wai Ola, a group with sacred knowledge of Mauna Kea's watershed. And rooted in Aloha Aina, love for the land, Kapu Aloha, respect for each other and resistance, and the principles of Pono, righteousness. Their teachings have guided our UC movement since the beginning. So much to be said about both of them and so much gratitude and love for their friendship and their being here. Without <laughs> any further delays, please join me in welcoming Uncle Liko and Auntie Lalani. Thanks everyone for hanging around. Uh, Do we go to one microphone? No. We, we have two microphones. Just wanted to remind you all that after the performance, you are invited to some absolutely yummy and delicious food over there that's hot and warm, and it'll feel amazing in your bellies. So please give us all your energy and uh, get excited for our performance. Aloha, everyone. From the islands, from all the kupunas, 
aloha and mahalo for standing for Mauna Kea and for the world and the goodness. Three words come to my mind. One is science, faith, and peace. That's fine. I'm just, uh, I'm just scared of the mic. So the squadron commander, as I refer to, Laulani. I'm just one of the little aircrafts on the side. <laughs> and uh, she's very much connected me with the now, the movement now. And uh, this song came at uh, one of the hearings before Mauna Kea where Professor Bolte was there. And uh, it's a song for Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea sleep. 
Mahalo everyone! Mahalo for being here! Mahalo for being part of this Kukiai Mauna movement! Kukiai Mauna! Kukiai Mauna! Kukiai Mauna! Uncle Liko was one of 38 elders, Kupuna, who were arrested on Mauna Kea uh, um, in 2019. And um, I just want to highlight how, uh, how important each one of those elders, and many more too, because there were many more who were standing right next to all of them that they couldn't get to because the young Wahine had had enough and they blocked the police from being able to take any more elders after they were arrested. So, uh, you know, everyone has their place to stand, whether it is in the front of, you know, between the, um, between telescope equipment and the sacred mountain, or whether it's between the Board of Regents and um, the truth. So, mahalo for being here and standing for the truth it's very very important i do want to say, give my aloha out there to dr bolte who we know on this campus is a, this is a movement of aloha and it's very very important that we carry that aloha forward aloha isn't this pretty thing that you can buy in a convenience store aloha is a powerful movement that can shift the foundation of power in this world. And that's what we're looking to do. Starting with the freedom of Hawaii, starting with the protection of sacred lands everywhere. Here at, in Yurastak, I wanna you know, give our aloha to the Amamutsen of this land and the protection of their sacred lands which which are being threatened by copper mining please please stand with them also that is another kukia imauna that is very very important and when we stand together we are able to you know shine the light in places where that light needs to shine where the the um where the darkness has hidden the truth because you can run but you can't hide, right, Uncle Liko? All right, mahalo, everybody. So, this song is for the Board of Regents and all of them guys. You can run, but you can't hide. Behind the pillars of genocide You can lock me in the prison walls And kick me out into the streets and halls Whatever happened to the sacred trust In 
they forget about us Cause our aspirations for self-determination lie in the dust Oh, tell me, what have I done wrong? Why can't we get along? What is the cause, the loss of love? What is the cause? Oh, tell me, why won't they leave us alone? Cause it's the shame of what's been done. Why do they do it? They can't refuse it. They're under the gun. But you can run, but you can't hide behind the pillars of genocide. You can lock me in the prison walls, kick me out into the and hold whatever happened to the sacred trust. Did they forget about us and our aspirations for self-determination lie in the dust? Mahalo, the students of the University of California. It's yes. very, very important to understand how important you all have been, still are, and continue to be in this struggle to protect Mauna Kea. You know, here we are 
thousands of miles away from our sacred mountain, and yet this is where aloha has manifested in a powerful form that, um, you know, you folks have done as much to, to stop the University of California as the key partner of the 30 meter telescope international observatory corporation from desecrating and destroying Mauna Kea as any of us could. And you know, it's been many years, as you will see in this Kukulu exhibit, in this beautiful Kukulu exhibit, you know, that shows all of these years of work that so many students looking at you well and so many others um you know from 2011 and more on have been standing firmly with us to protect this mountain and you still stand here and i just you know speak on behalf of all the kia'i who are thanking you right now for being here today for being here tomorrow for being here yesterday and through all the past and um, we'd really like to dedicate this to you. And this is, this is a song that so many have sung around the world. And, um, you know, we... Looks like, looks like this, all Hawaii. All Hawaii, stand together. It is now and forever to raise your voices. Hold your banners high. And we shall stand as a nation and guide the destiny of our generations to sing and praise the glory of our land. As we travel from place to place, some familiar and some are strange, to hear the ancient chantings of our home. As we listen to the stories, our eyes have seen the glories. So let us raise our voice in song to save our land. Hawaii Loa, Hawaii Iloa, Kuli Ke Kako, Kupa Ame Kalo Kahie, Kukala Me Ka, Vivo Ole, Oni Pa Kako, Oni Pa Kako, Stand Fast, Oni Pa Kako, Alana Kila Na Ki. Eola, 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 na kini e. Iloko na hale i apu ko aoia na hana i e. Eva i pipi i o va va uli uli o va i pi o e. Na pu pa no a o ka ho o la veke a wa o ka hana ke o ne kani o no hili hano hano o hana le o all Hawaii stand together. It is now and forever to raise your voices and hold your banners high. One people, one world. For we shall stand as one nation to guide the destiny of our generations to sing and praise the glory of our land. Ma loko o ka lua o pele Lohe ma ko i ko leo Leo aloha a 
your ancestors now into the future. Kukiai aloha! Kukiai mauna! Kukiai mauna! Kukiai mauna! Kukiai mauna! That was amazing. <laughs> I'm very honored and grateful to be standing here <laughs> with them today. Um, so I'm just going to say a little bit uh, to close the event. And um, we're going to say a little thank you to all the speakers. Will from UCSC Monica Protectors, Hanu from UCSB Monica Protectors, and um, our hula performers, Mehana Hula School, yes, they were also incredible. And our, um, our performers, Uncle Liko Martin and Auntie Lalani Tio, yes, thank you so much to everybody. Um, and also special thanks to Luis Lund, Brianna, Asia, and the staff of Mary Porter Sesnan Gallery. We want to thank our videographer, We Do, um, and all the volunteers, and also kid at the back doing screen printing. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> we want to thank everybody for showing up despite the cold middle of the week and the midterms. And now we have the moon with us. <laughs> we all show up for what's important to us. And um, we want to invite you to join us in standing up for the Mauna. There are many ways to do this. And we have a petition over there. And we also have a poster board for you to write your thoughts for the UC regions that we're going to present to them. As UC students, alumni, staff, faculty, we have a lot of leverage, like Auntie Lalani said, Hanu also mentioned, um, to change what the UC does because without, who, without us, there is no UC. And yeah, this movement um, is where we make indigenous voices heard and upheld, and that UC will never desecrate any sacred land again. This movement is the Mauna, and this movement is more than the Mauna, more than TMT. We, our movement is seeing everywhere, again and again, and we have to protect our land, our Aina, everywhere. So, I present you <laughs> the closing of the event, and we have food over there, um, more screen printing, more petition signing, and please connect with our speakers if you wish to. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Yeah.